Hello fellow students, welcome to our Math Campus TV. My name is Hale. My name is Mayan. We are from 6A. Today we are going to talk about the area of a circle. Let us take a look at today's learning objective. Be able to grasp the basic concept of calculating the area of a circle. Professor Mayon, how do you calculate the area of this pizza? Since the pizza is circular, let's learn two methods of calculating the area of a circle. Example 1. The radius of a circle is 3 centimeters. How can we find its area? Method 1. By counting squares. If you place a transparent grid film on the circle, you can find its area. 1, 2, 3, 4 to 32. Its area is about 32 centimeters square. If the circle is very big, this method will be time consuming. Also, this method is inaccurate. Is there a better method? Yes, let me teach you. Method 2. By using a formula. We can transform a circle into shapes such as a parallelogram or rectangle to calculate its area. Hail, take out a piece of circular paper. Fold the paper in half, then in half again. Now, unfold the paper to see four equal parts. To make eight equal parts, fold the paper in half three times. Then, unfold the paper to see eight equal parts. Divide into eight equal parts. Dissect. Every part is similar to an isosceles triangle. Form it into a new shape. What does the shape look like? Mm, it looks like a parallelogram. Now divide into 32 equal parts and dissect. Now form it into another new shape. 16 equal parts and 32 equal parts are different. The more parts the circle is divided into, the smaller each part gets. The shape formed by putting the parts together will be more similar to a rectangle. The area of the rectangle is close to the area of the circle. We can find the area of the circle by finding the area of the rectangle. Hell, what is the relation between the length and width of a rectangle and the circumference and radius of a circle? Actually, I found out that the length of a rectangle is half of a circumference. equals diameter times pi divided by 2 equals radius times 2 times pi divided by 2 equals radius times pi. I also found out that the width of the rectangle is actually the circle's radius. Yes, fantastic Hale. You're a math genius. Do you remember the formula of calculating the area of a rectangle? Yes, the formula of calculating a rectangle is length times width. Area of the rectangle is length times width. Area of the circle is radius times pi times radius equals radius times radius times pi. So the formula for calculating the area of a circle is radius times radius times pi. Let me give you an example. The radius of a circle is 3 centimeters. How can we find its area? Take pi is 3.14. 3 times 3 times 3.14 is equal to 9 times 3.14, which is equal to 28.26. So, the area is 28.26 centimeters square. 
Compare the results of method one and method two. Method two is more accurate. Okay, let's go back to your first question. Find the area of the circular pizza on the right. Take pi as 22 over seven. 14 times 14 times 22 over seven equals 616. The area of the circular pizza is 616 centimeters squared. Good job. All right, let us draw a conclusion. The area of the circle equals the radius times radius times pi. This, this is the end of our Campus TV. TV. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. See you next time. Bye. No, <laughs> my